Hey everyone, this is me Rachit and welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about 10 qualities that I feel every good software intern should have. So let's start with the video right away. The first quality is be confident. I know you are entering a whole new world, it's a new organization, you are doing this for the first time, but be confident. Your skills have been already processed by the firm and that's why they have hired you. They know how much you know and how much you don't know. To be honest, from interns, there is not much expectations that they have set. So don't be over pressured and really take it easy. Be confident with whatever knowledge you have. I have seen some interns which are so much thoughtful that they continuously bug their mentors and their managers about how they are doing, whether their performance is really down or if they're doing average. So don't be so much over pressured, I would say. Take it easy. Just do the work that you are allotted. I'm not saying that don't ask questions to your managers about your performance, but don't bug them every now and then. See, you have to understand that everyone wants their life easier. If you can make the job of your manager easy, if you have less maintenance cost, then it's good for him. All right, let's move on. So be a good team member. It's super important and you might not even realize how you are missing opportunities. For example, nowadays when students are going out for internships, I've seen that they are not alone, like they have some friend from their college or from their school who is also working in the same internship. By that, I mean the same organization. So it's quite natural for you to hang out with your friends in your free time or even go to lunch together with your friends. But these are some opportunities wherein I would suggest you to go out with your team members uh, talk to them as much as possible, ask them as many questions as possible and this will allow you to also understand what is the culture within your team. See, you have to understand over here that the bigger the firm is, the more teams it will have and the culture within each team will be different. For some managers, work from home will be like really very very neutral but for some of them it might be an issue. So this is the place wherein you can observe and also interact with your team members so that when they are giving feedback to the manager when you go away, it's positive in the sense that they really want to work with you and they enjoyed working with you. The next thing is learn Git. No matter what company you join, Git is going to be used over there because it's a version control system. And if you don't know about that, I would suggest learn that before your internship because no matter of the brand that you are going to join and irrespective of the programming language they use to code, Git will be there. So it's good that you know already and it will be impressive as well. You will also save some time in learning this technology over there so you can leverage that to do other things. The next thing is ask questions. Um, you are over there for two months but use that time to show them that you are like really curious about things. Ask questions as regards to what is the product that you are building, why you are building that because this is something which people really ignore a lot. Also understand how is it going to solve some business problem. Also understand the impact it will have when it gets rolled out in production. This will leave a good impression to your manager but more than that it will also help you in those two months or six months depending on the time span of your internship. So it will also help you in that period to build the product or build the final product in a much better way because each time or every day when you're working, you know what is the end picture that you want to deliver and more importantly, why you want to deliver it. The next thing is work hard guys. See, you have two months to work or six months to work in your internship and I would say utilize this time to the fullest. Also hang out with your friends, also hang out with your teammates, but use this time wisely and work really, really hard. You will have to do a lot of things in this two months. You just don't have to build the product, but you also have to manage times to do other things as well. Let's talk about that now. So when you're working, you just don't have to work or code, but you also sometimes have to conduct some meetings. So for example, when I was working in Flipkart as an intern, I didn't just have to write code, but I also had to conduct meetings with the other teams for which we had a dependency relationship with. Of course, my mentor joined in those meetings and helped us out, but it was a good experience to get the exposure as in how to drive those meetings and how to talk to the other product managers and the developers of other teams and get your work. Also, during the end of the internship, you also have to prepare a presentation about what you did and also deliver to maybe your manager or the manager's manager. And that is something which is like really super important because I have actually seen people who have like 
build average products i would say they have done average projects but the way they gave the presentation and with the amount of clarity they exhibited during that presentation it was super awesome to exhibit those qualities at such a young level of interns not only they just completed their project but they also understood the business areas they were able to drive their meetings on their own and that shows a lot of qualities which are hard to find at such a young level so i would say while you are out there doing internships try to learn the art of time management doing multiple things handling multiple things keeping the fixed goal in mind and working slowly and slowly to reach that uh, of course when you're doing internships um when you come back to your college or your university maybe there are other companies which are coming for hiring so you also need to manage time for that you have to prep for the next coding interviews that you will be giving for maybe placements or maybe the next year's internships so while you are out there in two months you have to work for your project you have to spend time with your team members you have to drive some meetings you have to prepare a presentation you have to understand the business areas as well and you also have to do your preparation for coding interviews that you will be giving in case you did not get a pre-placement offer or or maybe you want to achieve something better or maybe you really did not like working where you worked and you're looking out for some change these days when you are giving interviews at such a young level for internships or placements uh, i mean when you are in university the main focus lies on data structures and algorithms and that's where algo expert can come into picture so algo expert is a startup which is founded by employees from google and uber so it's a collection of 65 problems which are like carefully selected and they have an entire range covering from easy medium to very hard questions they also have questions clubbed into different categories like recursion searching sorting and etc etc and they also provide video solutions to them and you can also type your solution in c++ javascript and other languages so that you can also test whether your solution is working against that or not so guys you can see the reviews as well they are pretty great people have been using this portal to get jobs at google and internships at microsoft so it's a great product i would say the feedbacks are awesome and you can check out their website for more information go to algoexpert.io/rachit and get yourself a 30% off all right guys coming back to quality 7 i would say be innovative when you are working for your project be innovative in sense that you are thinking out of the box don't think in regards that you have just entered that organization and your ideas will not be helpful just don't think in that direction when you're solving some problem give it a fresh go think about the various possible solutions and come up with some interesting ones and share that with your mentors or your managers and, and i really feel that if you are curious and you are enthusiastic about the project and software engineering world you will be actually innovative All right guys the next thing is very important don't be cocky if you are already experienced um if you have already experience in building technologies and building APIs or you have a head start in the project that you are working at don't be cocky because no one likes to work with someone who is really egoistic um be humble to the ground when you are talking with others also be respectful personally as well i feel that if you are super super talented but if you are not down to earth if you are not respectful if you can't help people if, if people don't like working with you then it's all over you can easily be replaced of course at internship levels i feel i feel quite confident in saying that you can be replaced um if you have been super useful to the firm for years maybe at that time it's a valid chance that you can take to be cocky but i am not sure why will you do that anyways guys don't be cocky because that's something which no one likes the next thing is think before you speak it might be the case that when you're talking with your team members or your managers it's quite friendly and you blurt out all your future plans like you might have plans to give gre or you might have plans to go abroad for future studies and maybe this will affect your final chance to get pre placement offers because maybe your manager sees through that and sees that okay this guy will anyways leave us in the future so it's better to give some other guy a chance at a firm and maybe your pre placement offer will be snatched away from you so like really think before what you are speaking and keep things on your side of the table the next and final last quality that i would like to give is that impress and inspire guys at the end when you go out after 2 months or 6 months the team members and the managers and the mentors should feel the positive vibes they should respect your talent they should know that you work hard you are curious you are enthusiastic and you can also inspire and impress in a lot of other scenarios like if you are good at drawing or maybe you are good at working out so if you are like a real gym freak out you can inspire people to be healthy you can inspire people to be energetic 
maybe your hobby is singing and maybe your hobby is dancing so all these things i feel are really important not like in terms of whether you get hired or not as a full time but in the sense that it's important in personal development as well and also it helps people get impressed by you and also be inspired all right guys that's all i had for this video let me know in comments what are your thoughts on this i felt that this is a good time to do this i know that i didn't touch upon a lot of whole points in a great depth but i do feel that you got something out there which might help you out and let me know in comments if this video was helpful and guys really reach out to me if there is some way or the other in which i have helped you it really means a lot to read those positive messages and have that positive atmosphere all right guys that's all i had for this video and i will see you next time till then bye bye and all the best Thank you.